All right, EXPs, take two. As you guys, if, for those of you who don't know, my beautiful video, my beautiful life was just blocked due to the music that was playing. And I understand. I guess I understand. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get into what I really want to stress and talk about today. If you don't change your output. No. What was it? If you don't like that your output, change your input. Thank you, T. <laughs> if you don't like your output, change your input. If you don't like your output, it's up to you to change the input. And I say all that to say, I was driving early this morning, around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I listened to a lot of podcasts, a lot of motivational um, quotes and different just speakers talking about the importance of mindset success and understanding that it's really up to you right individually to pour into yourself and to be able to provide well find individuals right latch on to mentors latch on to coaches latch on to the individuals who you aspire not to necessarily become but and emulate but who you foresee the type of lifestyle or the type of mentality or the type of mindset that you want to develop okay it's your output what you pour into yourself externally what you subject yourself with social media who you surround yourself with is ultimately going to determine the type of input and, and how you perceive yourself and the things that you desire for yourself how they come to manifest or come to fruition Working in the experiential marketing industry, speaking from her firsthand experience, it's about understanding how to navigate, how to move in the industry, all right? And understanding how to use the skills that you currently have or the skills that you're developing if you're moving into management opportunities, if you're moving into team lead opportunities, understanding how to take those skills, those transferable skills, market them on your resume, but not just on your resume, but being able to go in and kill an interview with the client and sell yourself so that you're able to obtain the opportunities that you desire. If that is your, if, if you are looking to move up and obtain tour or even management opportunities within the experiential marketing industry, it can be done. And so many EXPs that I coach, so many EXPs that I talk to truly don't understand their value. Many of you out there have everything that you need. You have the experience, you have the knowledge, you have the skills, but you don't know how to convey it in a way which speaks to who you truly are. And you're not confident in being able to convey it when you talk to account managers, the staff and coordinators, or even if you make it past the first round of interviews and you talk to a client, right? Don't sell yourself short. I'm gonna say it again. Don't sell yourself short in the skills and the experience that you have within the industry and what you have obtained over the years, especially if you've been working in this industry for over five years. If you've been able to successfully maintain consistent opportunities at a brand ambassador and team lead level, then you have skills that are transferable that can be of value to a account manager, to a staff and coordinator, or even to a client who's looking to staff someone for a tour. You may not be at a management level yet. You may not understand all the nuances and the things that you need to be able to successfully manage a tour. But you definitely may have the experience to work as a tour staff member, right? You may be able to manage brand ambassadors in a given city or in a given market. But you have to be confident enough, right? And know your value. And I talk about it all the time, knowing your worth and understanding that you already have the skills that you need. Stop looking at everybody else. Stop looking at the EXP who's getting consistent opportunities because you don't know their story and what they go through to get those opportunities. Stop comparing where you are and wishing or hoping that you were that individual. Okay, because I've seen it plenty of times and there have been opportunities that I wish, two opportunities that I applied for and I did not obtain, right? And I, I would beat myself up about it. Man, maybe I could have said this. Maybe I could have said that. And then in hindsight, once that tour starts and a friend 
or um, someone that I know, a friend of a friend, is actually managing that tour, come to find out that it was more work than they were uh, contracted to do. They're feeling overworked and underpaid, right? And the actual tour is not all that it is cracked up to be from their roles and responsibility standpoint. So sometimes we can get so dead set and beat ourselves up about an opportunity that we wish we would have gotten or we should have gotten instead of looking at, okay, maybe that wasn't the best opportunity for me at this time. Maybe that opportunity would have taken away or not afforded the opportunity that I currently am applying for and will most likely go ahead and be awarded to at this time. You got to always look at the silver lining and everything and understand that what's for you is going to be for you. I don't care at what level, how long you've been working in this industry, what's for you is for you. All right? But you got to make sure that you are putting yourself in position and more importantly, that you are confident enough. Like I said, many EXPs have the experience. You have everything that you need to apply for opportunities, whether that be fear, whether that be you feeling like you're not adequate enough, that you're not qualified enough, whether you feeling like you don't know how to go in there and properly interview and speak on your skills and your experiences, refer to my YouTube channel. I'm going to drop the link in the comments for you guys. I have many resources. I have everything that you need to equip you, whether you are interviewing for opportunity, whether you are looking to to create and sell your experience via resume everything that you need is on my youtube channel so take advantage of these resources and if you don't take the time to go through that you have the exp elite group here where you can ask questions and exps will pour into you account managers agency owners take have taken the time and I've sat down with them, I've asked them the tough questions about their hiring process, about how they go through and screen EXPs for potential opportunities, about what they look for with regards to resumes, about what they look for with regards to the interviewing and making sure that you're able to nail a opportunity. So go back and watch those videos and pour into yourself, right? Because at the end of the day, I don't care if you work in this industry. I don't care if you're looking to move out of this industry and transition to somewhere else. Education before compensation. You got to educate yourself and you got to be the best at whatever position that you're looking to obtain within this industry. For me, it didn't happen overnight. I'm here to tell you guys, I applied for so many tours. I got so many no's before I was given my first yes. But that first yes... That first yes, right? And when I had some growing pains and some learning lessons because that, that tour was crazy. And I was definitely overworked and underpaid. That's another story for another day. But in that, I learned that, you know what? I have the skills. I, I, I have what I need to be able to apply for the management roles. And you know what? I have to know my value and know my worth before any account manager, before any staff and coordinator before I can expect them to know that for me. I have to know my worth and I have to be willing and able and confident enough to go in there and speak on my experiences and convey it so that if I'm not awarded that opportunity, that account or staff staffing manager or coordinator remembers me in the event that they have another tour that they're looking to staff within the next few weeks or the next month. Okay? Believe it or not, the EXP Elite Group, you have staffing coordinators, you have account managers that are in here, and I speak to them. They're looking at the EXPs who are applying for opportunities. An opportunity that I actually posted about two weeks ago in the group afforded an EXP opportunity out of our group was awarded an opportunity. But guess what? He had to go in and do the work and sell his experience. He had to go in and speak with that client and give that client the confidence to know that if the, if he was bought on that tour that he would be able to execute and successfully and confidently be a part of that tour and successfully finish the tour from start to finish i can only get you guys to the pond right 
and teach you how to fish, but it's up to you to do the rest of the work to continue to pour into yourself on a consistent basis, to educate yourself, to stay in the know, to network with the right EXPs, right? To talk to the right count staff and coordinators, to establish those relationships. You got to do your part as well. And you can't expect any handouts or any EXP or any staff and coordinator to do the work for you. It's all on you. And at the end of the day, you are, you determine your success in this industry and you determine your success in life. But I'm just going to talk about the experiential marketing industry because it goes hand in hand with life, right? You got to continue to apply. Whenever you're not awarded opportunities, it's up to you to keep applying for those opportunities. Whenever the account manager, the staff, and coordinator tell you that they have moved forward with someone else, take it in stride and, and let them know, hey, thank you. Please keep me in mind for future opportunities. That's the first step of building relationships. Don't be out here hating on other EXPs because, like I said, what's for you is for you. Continue to put the work in. Continue to take the time to create the video resumes. To reach out to account managers. Hey, I know you're not applying or you're not looking for anybody right now, but keep me in mind should something come up. You got to put the work in, all right? And as we go into the spring and the summer, and I'm in Dallas right now, and it's hot out here, so I know if it's hot already and we're not even in March, I know what the spring and summer is going to look like as far as weather. So that can only mean one thing, that we're going to have an influx and an increase of events, more than we've probably had in the past two years. So this is prime opportunity, right, to set yourself up for success, to put yourself in position to obtain the opportunities that you want. But in order for you to do that, you got to start with you and do your work. And doing your self-work is never ending. It's an everyday process. It's something every day for you to do to work on yourself. But you got to find that within yourself and, and learn the importance and the value of honing in on who you are and owning that and embracing it. All right? Because that's going to translate to any event, to any tour you manage, to any EXPs. You may have to day-to-day manage and ensure that they're on top of their game and they're doing what they're supposed to do at an activation your attitude your energy all of that is going to translate over and as you know when you're engaging with consumers you got to have that smile you got to have that engage in that outgoing personality okay because they're there to experience that brand product or service so i'm gonna leave you guys with that but remember it's on you all right. And if you're not getting the output or the results that you're looking for, whether that be personally or within this industry, take a minute and reevaluate the input and the things that you're subjecting yourself to and the people that you have in your circle. OK, because we can point the blame and point the finger at other people for so long before we had to sit back and do our own self work and look at ourselves and say, OK, where is there room for improvement? How can I become a better person? And in turn, how is this going to help me within the industry get to where I want to be or accomplish all my other personal goals? All right. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and follow me at the Success Maverick. I'm going to drop that link in the comments as well. T and I are launching our project together and we're going to be talking about working in business, work like balance and understanding and determining whether or not you want to Go in business with your spouse or your significant other or for my EXPs who you might have a close friend that you work with all the time and you think about starting a business venture with them. Definitely subscribe to our Instagram page and we're going to also be talking a lot about the things that we have gone through as a couple, how we continue to navigate through that. And we're also going to be assisting you and doing some special challenges and some different some different activities as well along the way. So definitely subscribe not subscribe i keep saying that but subscribe to my youtube channel again i'm gonna drop that link in there for my exps to go back and tap into all of those resources and definitely at the success maverick on instagram go ahead and start following us but nonetheless guys it's up to you all right do the self-work and it's gonna pay off later